Hello gang, welcome back to So That's Gaming. This is Laramus and with another PSP or PS Vita video. Uh, this is just going to be kind of a, a, a app update video. Uh, we're taking a look at three different ones. We're going to be looking at PKGJ version dot one three, uh, Vita Show one dot nine, and Adrenaline six point one, or Technically, a journal in 6.61, 6.3. I guess is how you look at it. So let's uh, go ahead and get out of here. All right. So now, some of you may experience problems, and I think I had already. So we're going to go ahead and show you that process. I'm not going to go over the chain logs. I'll link to the release pages in the description below. Um, let's see here. First thing we gotta do, we have to get a few VPKs copied over. So let's go ahead and go into our Vita shell real quick. Actually, since we're gonna need a molecular shell to install, let's go ahead and use molecular shell. You can do it any way you want. You can use your existing Vita shell or whatever, but obviously you can't use Vita shell to install Vita shell. So since we're gonna have to use molecular shell anyways, let's go ahead and start there. All right, I'm already in the UX zero VPK menu. We're gonna put this into FTP mode. Obviously, if you are using your uh, Vita shell, you can put it in USB mode if you like. So, all right, so over here on the PC, got. We're all connected here, and these are the three VPKs that we'll be copying over: Adrenaline VPK, PKGJ, and Vita Shell. Now, I'm just going to copy over the PKGJ and the new Vita Shell. Let's make sure that those deleted from here. Here's PKGJ. I'm going to delete that. And delete Vita Shell. The uh, reason why I'm deleting them is because uh, you could overwrite them, but I've had issues where it's corrupted itself. So I'm going to copy these over. Now, I'm not copying over the Adrenaline VPK because I'm just going to update Adrenaline. And if you don't have Adrenaline already installed, the PSP the full PSP emulator for your Vita you can go ahead and watch my previous video about installation of that it'll be the same but if you're updating it you can change the VPK to dot zip and you can extract it and in the SCE module folder you'll have these four files so those are located get my bearings here all right, UX0, and they will be in the PS... Okay, they're in the app folder. You're going to scroll down to until you find the PSP EMU, uh, CFW, or custom firmware. And in here, you'll see the CSE module. Go and delete those, and you can copy these ones over to replace them. I've already done so, so I'm not going to do it again in this video. And that's pretty much all you have to do to update the adrenaline if you already have adrenaline installed. You could go through the whole process of doing the full install, but I'm not going to do that in this video. If you want to see that, like I said before, you can see that in a previous video. So now that we have all our files, go ahead, uh, all copied over. Let's go and head back to the Vita. Okay, I'm going to close that. Um, first things first. I'm going to demonstrate the error I had uh, when I tried updating Vita shell. It wouldn't fully update so I went ahead and removed it and I'll do it again here Go ahead and delete that okay all right so now let's start with installing Vita shell we'll get that one out of the way start All right, so here we are. Here's Vita Show, the one we copied over. We're gonna go ahead and install that, and obviously we're gonna allow the extended permissions. Yeah. All right, this is the error I'm talking about. This is error zero x eight zero zero one zero zero one six. 
if you receive this air, it's real simple. Um, I had to do some little digging, but so you don't have to. I'm gonna show you here. Under the patch folder, it's right here somewhere, there it is. The UX0 patch folder, there's a VitaShield folder. Go ahead and delete that folder. And then go back and try reinstalling your VPK. Yes to install. Yes to allow extended permissions. I I don't know the significance of the patch folder, but I know that if you're having issues, that is what you'll have to do. All right. So obviously it looked like it went successful. So let's go ahead and finish the rest of the installation with Vita Shell. So there's our Vita Shell. As you can see down below, we're on version 1.9. We'll go ahead and launch Vita Shell. Make sure everything's working. <coughs> All right, Vita Shell is working, version 1.9. Now I had a question in a previous video and I figured I'd go ahead and address it now. Let's see if I can find, where did I? Okay, in the start menu, there you go, theme. Someone was asking me how I changed my theme and they're right here, there's only two installed. I'm sure you can download additional, but the default is what, if you've never installed Vita Shell, that's the one it would go to. I have mine set on Electron. So, anywho. So now we're gonna go and update PKGJ. Here it is right here. We're gonna install that. Allow extending permissions per usual. <clears throat> all right, so that's all done. So, just to verify everything is all updated, here's my PKGJ. Let's go and take a look at that. There it is. Dot one three so that's taken care of the update on that uh there's a couple other things that fix but it allows you to select multiple titles to be installed like in a queue so that way you can like select 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 and just kind of walk away and it will take care of the rest so i'm not going to launch that to demonstrate and adrenaline it still says 6.61 but let's go ahead and launch adrenaline and we'll verify that those files i copied over earlier um, did in fact update Adrenaline. So this is the PSP firmware, this has nothing to do with Adrenaline, but if you press and hold the PlayStation button, it will open up your Adrenaline menu. Doesn't say anything about version here, but if we go to settings, I saw this in here somewhere. States, settings, about, there you go, on the about page. There it is, 6.61, Adrenaline 6.3. So that is all updated. I think there were some like video settings that were changed, uh, but I have, didn't really get into it. And it's supposed to fix some PlayStation 1 uh, frame rate issues, so those should be corrected in this version. So, All right, so there you go, guys. We have Adrenaline and Vita Shell and PKGJ all up to date. So... Uh, these I am currently uh, if I didn't mention earlier I am on uh, 3.65 and so firmware so uh, there will be updates coming soon uh, the flow has been working really hard on getting the 3.67 firmware patched which from what I understand has been successful and he has an installation method but He's not going to release that information till closer to the end of life of the Vita. Because as you know, if you guys have been paying attention, uh, a new official firmware has been released, a version 3.68. Now it was unclear to me whether or not the flow has, has that patched as well. I'm assuming he has, but he's not going to release his exploit until it's end of life. Because what's the point of him releasing it if they're going to, if so, Sony's going to turn around and patches uh, their vulnerabilities to prevent that from being installed? So, those of you on firmware past 3.60 that do not have any kind of custom firmware installed, just be patient and avoid updating your PS Vita at this time. A exploit is coming. Um, some say expect it to be released by the end of this year or early next year, just whenever Sony finally announces at the end of life. So, 
Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you thought in the comment section below. And if you haven't already done so, be sure to click that subscribe button. And if you want to be a part of the notification squad, go ahead and click that little bell icon so you can be notified of all my future videos. So thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time. Peace.